I don't know whether it's uh, the fact that I'm currently working part-time in retail and it's been absolutely manic as you would imagine out there whether it's because the fact that my little job in retail doesn't pay so much so I'm not going to be able to splash out like I used to do I don't know but I genuinely currently feel a little bit like this And really, I suppose I should put my ideas up and feel a little bit like this. A good friend of mine recently uh, commented on his Facebook page that uh, Christmas time can be the happiest of times, uh, but can also be the saddest of times. And I must admit, this year it's uh, been a little bit um, of a bittersweet period for me. I've been reminiscing a lot about when we were kids. And uh, when I was little, one of the greatest family traditions was that every Christmas and New Year we'd uh, go visit my beloved grandmother, who was renowned for uh, hosting the greatest of Christmas parties. She'd spent ages and ages preparing for these things. And uh, we'd all turn up, Mum, Dad, me, my sister, uh, Auntie and Uncle, and my two cousins. And we'd just have an absolute whale of a time. She'll have uh, brewed a little bit of elderflower wine, there'll be uh, sherry flowing um, and she'd also have created uh, lots of little daft parlour games for us to enjoy. Uh, I remember she had a, a quiz book which I think must have been published around 1943 uh, and uh, I mean nowadays with quizzes you get all the, uh, the trivia etc etc, well not in those days. Uh, these little quizzes that my grand used to host were like uh, episodes of Mastermind. They were usually very, very low scoring affairs. And there'd be other little, uh, other little party tricks. Uh, a great one I recall, she'd put a, a load of items on a, on a tray. Uh, basically key rings, little ornaments, odds and sods. Cover the tea tray with a, a towel. Whip the towel away. You were given exactly 60 seconds to memorise everything that was on there. The towel would go back and then you would have to name what was on the tray. And of course if you won, you got the pick of any item you wanted off the tray. All great fun. I remember vividly once she uh, obviously spent hours and hours and hours cutting and pasting uh, um, adverts from the, uh, the broadsheets and then very selectively going through said adverts and actually cutting out the manufacturer's name. I've uh, got to remember this was uh, some time ago, so before uh, advertising was anything like it was nowadays. But uh, she would always carelessly forget to cut the name out of one particular part of the advert. So when it came to the quiz, guess what this is advertising? It was usually pretty easy, but we had a good laugh with it anyway. Great fun. Sadly, about uh, 20 years back, uh, getting close to Christmas, um, my gran, very sadly, decided to leave us and uh, it was a very sad time. Uh, obviously everybody was looking forward to the, the party as usual but she took ill and uh, died quite suddenly. And uh, I subsequently got a call from my, uh, my uncle and he was basically asking is there anything that I knew of grandma's that I <coughs> would like as a, as a keepsake. Uh, and if so, could I let him know when he'd get them for me? But um, I'd already got them, and uh, it's these two little fellas that are down here. A little salt and pepper pot, Laurel and Hardy. Uh, I wasn't really to know at that time, but uh, no, they're worth a bobber too. Uh, but every time I look at these things, I always uh, remember my dear old gran, and uh, obviously. Also remember how funny these two guys actually were. Yeah, love them to bits. But it wasn't such so long after that call that I, I got a phone call off my sister and she'd obviously had the same uh, phone call from my uncle and she was in absolute floods of tears. Uh, and the reason was that when she was asked if there was anything that she would like as a keepsake, she desperately, desperately wanted to ask for the gold charm bracelet that belonged to my grandma. Now my grandma had had this charm bracelet from her being very young I believe 
and at some point uh, said bracelet was passed on to my mother uh, but sadly uh, we lost my mum at a very very early age and the charm bracelet obviously then went back to grandma uh, so my sister was um, really anxious to have this bracelet as a, as a keepsake. I had a lot of memories of both my gran and my mum for her. But knowing that it was probably worth a fair bit of money, um, she really hadn't got the heart to uh, to ask for it. And um, so she just left it as it was. Not long afterwards I got a call from my cousin and she was uh, similarly distressed having been asked the same question because she could only think of um, a little side table that my uh, grandmother had. It was like a little half moon table that used to sit against the uh, against the wall in the lounge. Um, quite an old piece and uh, no doubt quite a valuable antique and I think once again because of that uh, she really didn't have the, um, the heart to ask for it so that was left as it was. She said that there was nothing like my sister that she could think of that she would like. Anyway, the, uh, the time came for the funeral and uh, after the funeral everybody decamped back to my uh, grandmother's old flat, uh, which if I recall rightly was kitted out ready for the festive season, which made it a little poignant. But uh, my uncle took us on one side, uh, us grandkids, uh, because he really wanted to explain um, grandma's wishes to us for this um, wake, if you want to call it such, and uh, her wishes were that we were to have the greatest Christmas party imaginable. So you can imagine the tears flowed and um, glasses were raised, bless her. Uh, but uh, my uncle also wanted to explain a little bit of something to us, and what he did, he, he produced a, a Wedgwood biscuit tin uh, that my gran had had for years and years and years and also a little pocket notebook and written on the cover of this notebook in typical grandma spidery writing it simply said a catalogue of all my worldly goods <coughs> he then subsequently lifted the lid of the uh, uh, tea tin and therein were hundreds of raffle tickets and we opened the little notebook and it said one TV, two fridge, three washing machine, onwards and onwards and onwards. It was literally a catalogue of all her worldly goods. And what she suggested for this ultimate party was that everybody who was present at the wake, this tin would be passed around and everybody were to choose a ticket and whatever was on that raffle ticket you then looked up the number in the book uh, and then whatever was written there that was then yours to keep so again tears unbelievable planning etc wonderful thought but it was also specified that if this game were to take place uh, it could only do so if my sister and my cousin were to make the first choice out of the tin. So bits of nervous giggles around the room and my sister was presented with this tin and as I say there, there must have been a hundred or so raffle tickets in this tin and it was held at above head height, she closed her eyes, she had a good rummage around in there, pulled out the ticket, read the number opened the book, burst into tears, ran out of the ring. She got the charm bracelet. It was unbelievable. My cousin, second choice, you know what's coming. Once again, she had a rummage through this tin. She pulled out the ticket, she looked in the book, joined my sister outside in floods of tears. She got the table. Now, I don't know whether Gran was there, I don't know, and if she was there, she must have pre-planned it. 
one could always argue that oh, well, it was just coincidence, but no, I, I don't think it was. I definitely don't think it was. Um, I genuinely felt, as did a lot of us, a little chill went up our spines. And all I could do was raise my glass and say, thanks, Gran. Merry Christmas. And I say that to you folks now. I hope this Christmas is everything that you could ever wish for. Keep your loved ones close. They're not going to be with you forever. Remember the happy times. And let's look forward to some uh, happier times in the future. Eh? All the best, guys. Take care.